Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, it's an interesting app. Yeah, I will you... start with that. <laughs> I will start with that. You go ahead, madam. All right. Well, let's let me just at least give a little description of it. I mean, most I assume most people who are going to be listening to this are not it because, but for a few, you know, that, that don't know. Right. So so. Uh, First of all, you can't sign up without an invite. It's a new social media app that is about talking. So it's basically, you know, for all the for the 2007 throwback analogy, AIM, but not typing. You're talking it's the AIM out loud. chat room. Yeah, it's, it's the a chat, chat roulette room. for those who remember right, the chat right, right, roulette. Right, right. Like, right. But only again, audio. Right. Audio it's audio only. only. Uh, so you can't at this point, the app is still in beta. So you cannot sign up unless you have an invite. Now I got on there. That's like that league app. I yeah. Got I got out there without an invite. Um, and what as usual. Yeah. So I, so I just like, if you, if you download the app and sign up, then they will, it says like, well, you can't join yet because you don't have an invite, but we'll notify you when we're ready for you or some like stupid shit like that. Mm. And then like one of my acquaintances that was already on there saw that I was waiting in line to get in and it, ping- it must have pinged him. Yeah. And he happened to have a couple of invites because they limit that once you're on the app, they limit the number of invites you as a user have and they kind of give you more as you use the app more. Actually, now you bring it up. How many invites I got? Like, I feel like you was bragging about your invites. Maybe I ain't got. I, I wasn't bragging about it. the the point The point being is that now that I have like seven or eight invites, I can uh, give them to some of our listeners if they DM me. I only got two, so slide in the DMs. Yeah, like, I got yeah. Two. If listen to this episode, and if you're like, I got to be on Clubhouse, DM me, and I might uh, bless you with an invite. Definitely DM her. Cause I'm, not, <laughs> I'm, not giving, I'm not giving it to you. Sorry. So you get on there, and the way it works is like you have a you know you have your profile. You get one profile picture. That is the only visual thing of you on this whole app. So like you gotta like. Actually, I was surprised. Like a lot of the people that I follow, like they be switching up their app picture like every day, like their profile I mean, picture. Every I day. assume you would if you're in a million houses. I don't. I got a. I got just like a fire picture of me, and that's that. Oh, like here we go. <laughs> I, I like her, to keep her, it. Her picture is pretty good. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not the point. That's not the point. So you get one picture, and then you can the the um, the bio is not limited by character, so you can put as much or as little as you want in the bio. Yeah, your bio looks like what i should probably do at some point yeah i i for a few days i was like just left the bio blank because i was just like let me just see what's up and then i went for it with the bio and i wrote like a longer thing about hosting quarantines and my make studios my production company and like what i like to talk about i.e like sex dating sports pop culture music film oh, that's, tv that's what you like talking about that's it <laughs> wow. it's so easy so, so i just put like stuff like that in there whatever some people have theirs like really like some people put their cash app in there. Let's hey, say. you <laughs> should how you definitely live. put your Venmo in. in there <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Only fans money. I don't know. So, so, yeah, I don't know. Nah, people, people nah. be judging. Sometimes you get in the rooms and they be like, "We're not fucking with cash app people." It's like, oh, shit. yeah, that's why I said Venmo. So, all right, yeah, fine. yeah. So anyway, so then you obviously it's the same as any social media. You have you follow people and people follow you. Now. One thing I like about the fact that it's so new is that there's not as much like weird political antics that go on in regards to like following and following back people because no, there's so there's so fewer people on the app and people don't have these huge followings built up yet. Like at this point, like if you have a thousand followers, that's like weird, incredibly a lot. Well, or your celebrity. Yeah. Like, that's pretty much but it. But even the celebrities, like, they're not I know, on... I seen D-Nice playing. They're not, like, using it, except like, for the wow. ones that are. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's definitely a thing about, like, oh, on other know. apps, like, you don't just, like, follow people that you don't, like, know, or, like, it's, like, a media thing, or they're a celebrity, or whatever it is. Like, on this app, like, I'd be meeting all kinds of people. Like, that's part of what I'm about to get into on this, is that, like, I just already have met so many cool she people. You love at the clubhouse. <laughs> I'm just, like, people, you know, you talk to somebody, you just vibe, and then it's like, oh, yeah, I'll follow you. Like, because presumably they're going to be in other rooms that I might also enjoy that conversation. Yeah. So, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You Correct. You get into, so the premise is, like, chat rooms. It's rooms. Yeah. So anybody can make a room. And then the, there's other tiers to this, like clubs and stuff like this. But yeah, on, a, a on a super already. basic level, anybody can make a room. And there's three different kinds of rooms. There's private rooms where it's invite only or friends only. 
<laughs> there's semi private rooms where it's like anybody who's following you and I think anybody then who's in the room can ping one of their followers into the room. So it's like a six degrees of separation kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then there's public room. And in all three of those rooms, there's the stage and there's the audience. And the moderators are always on stage and then they can always. bring anybody up onto the stage that they ch- of their choosing to talk. And the audience can't talk. They're just there to uh, listen. Just to vibe out. Right. So you, there's a, a lots of different kinds of rooms. Like, that's the first point that I want to make. Because yes, obviously... They're, they're, that, that's <laughs> that, and that is, I guess, I will even jump in and yeah. say, like, that is one thing that as far as, like, a positive for it, it does have literally something for almost any kind of thing you'd want to talk about. And, you know, mm-hmm. especially here in quarantine... Like, you know, there might just be people just want to talk to people about nothing. Right. You know, Super Bowl just finished, you know, so, you know, maybe there's just uh, depressed football fans that are like, oh, man, there's no football. I didn't want to talk about football or, you know, I saw like I've seen some Uganda ones like that are dope, like music, film, Bitcoin. I mean, just like. Get, what, get, what yeah, where yeah. your interests lie diamond hands let's go diamond hands baby yeah like all the stuff so the amount of like options as far as what to talk about they do seem limitless because somebody yeah. has a room going at any one given time for pretty much anything mm-hmm. let's be honest mm-hmm. yeah so that part is great yeah i will give it that and and particularly in quarantine a lot of people i've seen using it for like camaraderie mental health reasons you know mm. of just like we're all isolated we need more human interaction this together baby yeah there's people talking about wellness there's people talking about you know different kinds of hobbies you might be interested in want to hear from some people that are into it meditation whatever like literally all kinds of stuff and so that's the very first thing that i want to make loud and clear because obviously the majority yes, yeah. of the rest of what i'm about to say is it's much more like be about all those quarantines uh, after dark yeah, vibes yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's not gonna get into all those different apps, but she just wants you to know that they do exist. <laughs> right. So right. she's not tripping. So that's that's the basic premise. So uh the first thing that um I, I just wanna give like examples of, of like topics that you heard in yeah, the random. Of like the rooms. topics that I yeah, yeah. So the first room that I was in was actually the shoot your shot room. I, I don't know if that was the first room that I was in, but that's the first example I have. I mean, you've been hooked like crack to this. So the, so yeah, you know, dude, I'm you, on this shit like 24 seven. Remember what room? It doesn't. Even I'm on this point. shit like 24 seven. It don't matter. So there was like this shoot your shot room. Like part of this whole episode is me pitching this as like the next great dating app. Like and I me really shutting believe that this. shit down <laughs> hardcore. But we're gonna go. We're gonna I go. really gonna believe go. that Clubhouse is the next great dating app. It is not, but we're going to let. So, so in this shoot your shot room, it was a, it was like a lot of people in this room. So like 300 people. Okay. So it was a big room. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe 30 people up on the stage. So the, there was maybe like five moderators and like 30 people up on the stage, 300 people in the room. You could raise your hand if you want to get on stage. They may or may not choose you. I didn't try to get on stage, but I was just like, whatever. So... Because I was just observing. Mm-hmm. So the way that they Doing were running research. this room to get a research. yeah, is literally just the main guy that was moderating um, was just shouting people out on the stage so that they could unmute themselves and literally just shoot their shot with someone in the room. Like, say, like, just right away, shoot your shot. I'll take this person, say their name. Like, it's real names on Clubhouse. So your little thing, like, says your real yeah, name. It's annoying, name-ish. But whatever. And then that person... Uh, immediately like finds you on the stage, clicks on your little profile. Everybody has their IG and Twitter linked, so like you can navigate ah, like straight off that. to like their shit if you want like more pictures or whatever. And then just like literally within the span of ten seconds, the person says yes or no. <laughs> so it's just like this wild like real time like Twitter like or, I mean uh, Tinder kind of crack. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, really quite funny like the way that some people are about it you know like i'm sure you enjoyed a lot of the rejections yeah the rejections are like truly funny so then either you get rejected ice cold you either get rejected and then you just like leave the room like it's not really hard feelings like that's part of why i like it so much because it's just like it's not really like hard feelings it's like oh i'm out like you know leave the room done out so or it's like you they were like yep 
like I'm vibing with you and then you can follow each other on Instagram, DM, whatever you do, what you will with that information. There's no like precedent. They don't continue to talk and chop, chop each other up right there. They quickly move on to the next person in line. Mm hmm. So it was, it was interesting. I thought that one was pretty crazy. Yeah, I thought the only thing that's crazy I heard about that room is that you didn't participate. No, you know, I did not participate. It's full well that you are this dying pod. Like, <laughs> if you really go and shout it out as a dating app, you should have been doing the thing. Yeah, no, this, I, I'm still new. I've only been on a couple of weeks, you know, I gotta, right, I gotta right. feel it out. Another thing that was um, being discussed in one of these rooms is uh, the idea of whether or not you make eye contact during sex. <laughs> And, you know, I, I actually did not chime in on this. I, but I you do have a very interesting opinion. <laughs> so I know, I know. I'm going to answer first before I let you go into this interesting opinion because I had actually never heard this opinion that you said <laughs> until you said it. <laughs> I will say that personally, I don't see any problem with it. Like, what's the problem now? Again, most of the time I'm getting the license off anyway, so can I really see your eyes? Like, I don't really know. But, like... I have no problem with my eyes being open and looking. You have at no you problem with eye look- contact. No, it's fine. Like you there. Like what? What, what else am I look at? Like, <laughs> okay. So like, and like the closing of your eyes thing. Like, if I was gonna be petty and be out here, I'd be like thinking like, oh, if I close my eyes, she might think that I'm imagining fucking some other bitch while I'm fucking her, and I don't want her to think that. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep the eyes open and look at her so she knows that I'm enjoying this shit with her. So I would just personally not close my eyes like not gonna be able to do it so okay that's my thought process on it i can see both ways like some guys just are enjoying it and they just in that groove and you know a lot of people their happy place happens to be when their eyes are closed just in general about things so i don't know that i see it as like a. I mean i i i of course you're right that there are people that are like lost in the sauce, so to speak. Yes. You know, but I don't really see those people that are sort of like, <laughs> I don't look somebody in the eye during sex as being the ones who are lost in the sauce. I see that more as like the ones who are just out here, you know, hooking up with a lot of people. Yes, they like, I'm not trying to make this intimate at all. <laughs> right, so right, right. I like it's make... not about intimacy. This is a business decision, okay? <laughs> it's a strictly and dick my, appointment. My like... penis came over here for a meeting <laughs> and I need to be here during the meeting and then I'm out. And I mean, you know, you're not, you're obviously not that type of person. I've, I've <laughs> dabbled in... <laughs> In you're the, saying that those, you're not against having a dick appointment yes. in those times where yeah. it's just like listen you know well, hey, you, got a, you got 11 you got 11 months to go girl i get it <laughs> i get it 11 months to go sometimes there's more uh shall we say connection than other times you know you, you got 11 months to go you're doing the work i appreciate it so there's that but then you know some of the guys in the room were like well um, I don't uh, like, I don't, I look bad. Like he's like my, like this one guy was like, my sex face is like not good. <laughs> like I, I don't know if he, like, obviously like, how would you know that there's a question of that, yeah. but, but well, there's also yeah. the point of like people, yes. this idea of like, you, you don't think that you are looking a one and like, do I don't you, know. <laughs> do you need to look a one when you're having sex? I mean, it's like bitches put makeup for the gym. Like, do you need to look a one all the time? I think some people would say yes. And then for who? For yourself and for the person you're fucking. Again, I mean, I kind of feel that way, to be honest with you. Okay, but like when you're having sex, yeah, with guy who's closing eyes. Unless you've got the mirror on the headboard, then who is seeing this? Well, well, yeah. Okay, so yes. So there's the point of like, <laughs> like at least the gym. I understand. No, agreed. People are seeing agreed. You. But um, I guess like if I if I was ha- if I was fucking somebody that you was doing A1, that, that's why they were sleeping with you. Like that's literally why they're sleeping with you. Like because you look a one. Like, Not necessarily. I don't know. I just I I think you're more on the so you err more on the side of like you only have <laughs> you only have sex with people that you're like. It, quite interested in. <laughs> well, I mean, I only have sex with people I'm attracted to. I right. Know, like... But attraction is different than like how you look in a certain moment. That's just a fact. Like because like again, like anybody can take uh, can take a bad picture of themselves even if they're like super hot. 
or if you trip and fall, you you look like a ditz, even if you might not be a ditz, like in an overall sense, you know. So I do think there's something to be said for the fact of like men don't like aren't sure how they look, or or women as well. But the men were saying this in this clubhouse room that they were like, I don't know, like my like I don't my I don't want you to I don't want to see your sex face. I don't want you to see my sex face. My rebuttal to that, honestly, and I swear to God, I believe this, is that men do not have the practice of controlling how they look because they don't spend as much time looking at themselves in the mirror and taking pictures of themselves on their phone. Like, I feel like I have a very good sense of how I look in most scenarios, sexual or otherwise, because I spend a lot of time like pra- literally practicing yeah <laughs> okay uh, so again when and i'm glad you got this out because i just needed the people to hear it i'm very happy that you put it on wax because all i heard was that Kristen believes that you yeah nigga you <laughs> need to take more selfies yeah and you'll have a better sex face i do believe that and <laughs> <laughs> I can't even necessarily counter it in the sense that I'm not sure if that's right or not. But then I go to the point of, do I need a better sex face? I mean, it depends on I'm what like, you're... Is my face more important than my dick? Like, what, like when, we, when we get down to it, what are right. you truly enjoying? Yeah. Looking at my face in the dark with the half glow of the moon... Or riding Excalibur. I don't understand. No, like, it's a fair I, point. Not, it's I'm, a fair point. You know, like, do I really got to be sitting here taking, taking some more of these? Um, I mean, it's not. There are levels. I mean, I agree with you. You know, the, so the what dick, level do I need to be at where I need to start taking more selfies? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do with your sex game. If you're trying to level up. Yeah, you might want to think about it. That's what I'm saying. Like people do. People do. I mean, you can go take a class whereby an instructor will suggest to you mobility exercises to improve your sex game. So, like, there's many different facets of the whole situation that, like, if you're look, I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying if you are looking to improve it, there are different avenues that you can take that aren't just about, like, that dick game because you can't take a class for that necessarily. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like you probably could and some dudes need yeah, to. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, what or do I know? take a pill for that. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah, I don't like again. I'm really glad that this is on wax and <laughs> definitely at King Kristen Renee at Luminator GV on IG. I need to hear these comments because I am, I'm just not so sure about this one. Like, I, I mean, I've never like stopped having sex with someone because I was well, just like, yeah, no, that's stupid. But like, so okay, so to this premise, is there, and obviously, I don't need you to put like on wax, like who, but like. Is there someone you remember where you had sex with them Mm -hmm. and them having a better sex face meant better sex? 100% yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, actually, no, I don't want to go into this rabbit hole. (laughs) We'll save it for a whole other pod. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> nah, which, what, which, what you said is a normal night. My number is the bar tab. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you hit the bar tab. I got open bar. You can open me up all day, baby. The live studio audience is just commenting like, that the amount of drinking going on is very relevant to the conversation, like, hey, which yeah. bears repeating. Hey, yeah, like I said, you open the bar, you can open me. Like, that's, <laughs> that's fine. I'll put that on wax all day. <sighs> but again, the less attractive you are, <laughs> the more you better be hooking up the baby girls, the grandma yays, the patrons. Like you better go, you better go deep in the pockets, girl. Right. But you know, if you if you're here for it, you got it like that. Shit, then why be my sugar mama? Let's I mean, go. on some level, like if I entertained, like I and as we know, I already said this on the podcast, like I entertained you know, having sex with the Bumble guy with the Drake fiasco. Did you really entertain it though? I mean, I did because I was, I didn't leave right away when he was yeah, like yeah. doing all this stuff. Yeah, I was thinking just, in my mind, like, you was just drunk and do mad I really, do I really, do I really like, no, that's not what it was. I was really thinking to myself, like, 
man, I haven't gotten laid in a while. Like, I'm really trying to get this dick, but like, ah, oh, this guy's not that attractive. Like, if I'm having that conversation in my mind with, about a guy that I, I is like, you know, below my standard of usualness, like for free, then yeah, like that just says like something about me about how I feel about sex as a person and whether or not that's right, wrong, or otherwise, it's a reality. I know. You uh, know, first of all, it, there's it's definitely not wrong to enjoy sex. So I just want to make sure that we're clear. If you like sex. We here for I mean, you. I appreciate We're you making good. the point because I feel like I'm going to get judged as the woman on this episode, but it's well, fine. Well, I don't know. You're We're, past, ju- We're past that point. No, so. you're just going to get judged for liking this whack ass clubhouse app. You're not going to get judged <laughs> for the sex because these bitches are going to be like, yeah, I would do the same thing, girl. <laughs> I'm right on your side. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I don't no, know. Don't I just worry. feel You'll like, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that as a person who's like very open about sex, like it, it, the number's going to be inherently lower just because that's already my disposition even in my regular life in the first place, you know? (sighs) No, okay. Well, I'm like, I know I've already said this before, but on the clips, on the Twitter, on our IGs, for real, I need the comments because I need to know people's opinions on this. This this one, like, we... We're going to follow up on it and talk about. And you know what? Kristen has been pushing. We'll see how it goes, but we might even have a clubhouse room at some point. Yeah, yeah. So, like, we need, we need to We're going to bring you from, guys in clubhouse. We need to yeah. hear from the people. Well, well we, <laughs> we means her. Like, I just might be in the background. I don't know, but, <laughs> nah, but there is something else you wanted to hit, though. Yeah, so the, the to sort of wrap up, this is the last kind of point I have about Clubhouse, which is that I believe that it is now and is going to become even more so the best dating app that there is. <laughs> I'm going to let you continue because I 100% disagree, but I'm just going to what? You okay, so, I mean, this Okay, might... well, actually, no. Let me, I'm going to take it back. 100% is too strong. Yeah. It should never be 100. I 98% disagree. But you also talked in uh, a pod very long ago about how you thought IG was one of the best dating apps, if not the best dating app. So why is Clubhouse better than IG? Because Because it is about, like like real interaction with people that is not rooted in the um, small talk of a dating app. And so you get like, I've, as I've also said many times on the podcast, I'd rather have a substantive conversation with somebody that leads to us like vibing. Which is in like every other Tinder girl's profile. Like we get it. You want to talk like shut up. Right. But that's kind of what I'm saying. Like this creates that kind of a situation without it being forced or weird or it doesn't materialize or whatever it is. And it's also, it's also, I also believe this because it's not like the, one of the main problems I have with dating apps is that because they are intended to be used for dating, weird shit goes on on them, like just from jump. So everything that you're putting out there is because you're trying to project a certain thing, whether or not you're successful that, in that thing is another matter, but like you're trying to appear a certain way. You're trying to say certain things. You're only trying to interact with certain people. And I don't think that that's a conducive way to date. I think it's way more likely for you to be successful and find somebody that you're genuinely interested in. If you are, for example, in a room with a couple people, you know, and a couple of strangers and you have like a really great conversation going and you just inherently start vibing with somebody. Maybe you follow them. Maybe they follow back. Maybe you get in another room with them. It's a completely different conversation. You vibe again. Da 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 da. You start to talking. Whatever it is, the path is the path. But it's a very organic way to talk that is more successful than a dating app situation. And I would argue it might even be more successful than a real life bar, because in a real life bar, you're not getting into these substantive conversations. Nor are you often like actually evaluating who's in the room. You're just with your friends. So I really do think that there's an opportunity there to vibe with other people that you otherwise wouldn't meet. And also these are people that aren't even in the Twin Cities a lot of the time. So it's all over. Yeah. And we know you love a good out of town day. Exactly. Which I didn't realize when I got in the first room, which was hosted by my friend. I thought they were all Minneapolis people. And that's, I'm now proved that that's not the case. Definitely not. Yeah, I, I could have told you that. Um, okay, well, all right, I'll say this. How do you rate my argument? First of all, give me a letter grade. <laughs> oh, the letter How's grade, my persuasiveness? That, that, that argument was probably like a B minus. Okay. It was probably a B minus, yeah, or well, maybe a B, flat B. Okay. Not a B minus. But, um, so, yeah, this is what I'll say. I don't 
disagree with the idea that how you start the interaction between you and whoever this person may be in Clubhouse has a lot less pressure than any dating app. That, I yeah. think, can't be disputed. Um, though, I guess my first counter would be that most of the dating apps, you start the interaction with the acknowledgement that you both have some level of attraction to the person. So that's my only little counter to that point. But yeah. I, I agree overall. It's just an easier, like, woo-saw situation. Which right. Everybody just likes to be comfortable, so that's that's a good thing. Right. As far as, like, the whole, like, oh, getting in a room with, like, a couple people you know and people you don't, I guess uh, this is maybe the old man get off my lawn, but, like, you know, I feel like I come from friends and people where it's, like, I just don't understand why friends don't, like, actually try and hook people up. I feel like people don't do that no more. And it's like you're taking this like extra step using Clubhouse to like pop in. Like you're not using it. Like people just pop in. Right. And then it's like, oh, they end up. But it's like if you truly knew these two people, like you could have just pointed it out to one of them. Like you don't have to point it out to both of them, just one of them. Like it's not that hard. So that part to me is I'm like, eh. But I know a lot of people don't care about other people in that level. So it's fine. Like that's whatever. So here is an app that saves the people of thinking that way. So in that part, that's a that's a plus right. to your your because argument. I mean to be fair, like this friend that had the room, like we are. Fr- I, I mean, I would consider him my friend. I'm fairly certain he would consider me his friend. But you know, it's f- it's from a different time in our lives. Like it's not like we've been communicating reg- on a regular basis that much. Otherwise, just fine. So to your point about like he would never set me up with one of his friends because we're not on that level that he would do that. And yet, if I vibed with somebody who was there, it yeah, would still be because of through through that and, thing. And I guess my problem is like that whole like we're not on that level thing. Like you shouldn't need to be on a very high level to do that. Like I don't think it's a matter of the level. I think it's a matter of like actual like yes. space in your mind of like even realizing it. Like people aren't sitting around thinking about like who argument. should I match make. That's, that's an argument. That's an argument that we're not going to go on right now because I'm just out here cooking. I, I agree. I agree because most people inherently only think about themselves, so it's fine. Like, it's not a big deal. I'm just okay. saying that I think that a lot of people that Should I know do on that my level more. used to do that, mm. and they don't do it now. That's and fair. That's I agree with you. So that's whatever. Okay. But anyways, I don't – and again, I've definitely not been on the app as much as yeah, you. Yeah, you so haven't. I can't speak to it in that way, but – I don't know that the whole, like, oh, we pop into this, we pop into that, like, it's cool, like, you know, like, even uh, the pod where we talked about, you know, like, the sports thing, Mm -hmm. like, I could follow some girl that is in, like, every sports clubhouse that I join, but she's not, like, it's not it, like... You know, so like your this. whole thing that you, so you're promoting the fact that a dating app you match with the person you know they're interested in you you're interested in them that's, that's what you like about it that's the point like yeah I like a little more of the hey clarity we know what's up okay and when your your comment about it might be better than the bar yes and no like. If you get to the point that you're talking about where we've popped into multiple rooms, now we've maybe had some, you know, healthy back and forth Mm -hmm. about a multitude of topics, which let's just be real, over a three-hour bar night, we're we're not going to get into those. Right. We're just not. Mm -hmm. Then, yes, by the time I meet you, it might be better. But... I don't know how many times that's going to happen. I mean, that's already happened to me at least several times in the course of one week. Using so you dressed up because you're about to go hit up some clubhouse guy today? No, I'm saying... <laughs> again, again, like I described about the apps, like I'm not necessarily out here just pers- on clubhouse to pursue men. So like, I, that's No, I know. Fine. But I'm saying then how has it happened to you though? Like, because it hasn't happened to you unless you meet these dudes. Have you met these dudes? I don't. I don't agree that it hasn't happened unless you meet them. Like I, I've I've communicated with them on a one-on-one level. So like, I, there's the potential. Saying, there's like, the potential to meet them if I was interested. I have not yet. So how been is it? Int- but then how is it better than the bar interaction? 
other than the fact that you just had more time. But see, you're basing it on like the the um the interaction that occurs after the match has already happened on a dating app. Mm-hmm. My point is is that you are you are more likely to organically find somebody that has a higher likelihood of being a good compatible match for you through something like this than on a dating app. So I'm saying that like while I might so match with somebody the on the dating is, app, Clubhouse is like the match.com but better. Sort of like on the dating app again, you're starting with attractiveness from a picture. So like I'm not saying that that doesn't matter. Obviously it does. It's very important to all of us. However, I don't necessarily think that attractiveness denotes compatibility. Oh yeah, no, obviously. Like that's, Right. That's what stupid. denotes compatibility is personality. And so if you're in a space where the personality is the thing that's on display, well, as this app is because it's talking, your 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 pool of people that you might be compatible with or that you have the potential to to have an interest in is like a higher likelihood, a higher percentage than on a dating app where it's just like random swiping on like who's hot and who's not, you know? So that's where I'm at. I mean, I agree with you that perhaps an app like I the the clarity is very nice. That's that's a really good point that I hadn't been considering. So I hear your point about that, but I'm just saying in a in a in a starting from scratch sense where the where you don't even have the match yet, I'd rather test my luck in a pool where a bunch of people are conversing on a topic that they all can sh- let their personality personality shine through on. Then swipe on some shit where I have no idea if this person is even like remotely on the same page as me at all. That's what I'm saying. The pool is is a better uh, pool. I hear you. I'm, st- I'm, st- I'm <laughs> still not there yet. I'm still at a B minus. <laughs> Honestly, I think the more that we talk about these things, the more that you are not going to realize, as I've said on a previous pod, that you're more of a unicorn than just a horse. Perhaps. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll, I will say this. You'll, you'll, I'm certain you're going to get me another clubhouse room here very recently so I, or soon. So like it's fine. I'll be out there. And we'll see how it vibes. And it also it, is. It I mean, I'm also fun. willing to admit that it is more conducive to just me and my personality. Like. I think you're, I mean, you're not an introvert by any means, but maybe a little bit more than me. Like, you like a one-on-one conversation, whereas I'm like, let me work the room. Yeah, we've talked about this on the pod. Chris and group dates. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, we know. We get it. Like, yeah. So that, there's there's definitely something to be said for that, mm-hmm. but I just think, I don't know, the organic nature of it is is good. Mm-hmm. Well, all I know is quarantines, Chris inside, approved. Yeah. Clubhouse app. Download yeah. it and slide in the DMs because you might have your seriously, invite. If, yeah, I might have an invite for you. So hit me up if you're like, I got to check this place but out. But also, she's up. probably not going to give you an invite unless you send her a screenshot proving that you've already subscribed to the pod. <laughs> subscribed. So, uh, rate, ra- rated, yeah. and reviewed. <laughs> and like, you know, as, as, as all the people say, yep. you got to give us five stars, uh-huh. baby. Five stars, five stars. Five stars. Facts. Facts only. Like, like my man Booker T. Yeah. Five time, five time, five time, five time, five time. But yeah. No. So I don't know. We'll have to come back to this idea of Clubhouse as a dating app like in months, months and months away when more people are on the app and yeah, it no, becomes we'll, more we'll, clear if it's going to stick around or not we'll, stick around. We'll, we'll, we'll do the Clubhouse slash Kristen finally open the OnlyFans episode. Yeah. Same time. Same time. Yeah. She'll, Part she'll, two of all the she'll, she'll platforms. She'll get to that. Don't worry. She'll get to that. <laughs> one day. One day. One day. 